I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll take a look at installation piracy. These are the large structures found in many systems that can be looted for cargo, materials, and data. Here, we're specifically going to focus on hacking them for data, as the material and cargo rewards are very seldom worth the effort. This is the same process used against megaships. If you'd like more specifics for looting those, there's a link to a previous tutorial on screen now. As usual, let's start with a build. While you can use just about any ship you'd like, as we'll be using Silent Running quite a bit, I'll be using one of the coldest running ships in the galaxy, the Diamondback Scout. I'll be outfitting for jump range with the critical components being a heat sink or two, a fuel scoop as necessary, a recon limpet controller, and finally cargo racks for our limpets. When using the DBS, heat sinks aren't strictly necessary given its cold nature, and when done properly, even hotter ships can get by without them. Now that we're ready to go, first let's figure out where we're going to go. As there are many of these scattered around the bubble, I'm going to include a link in the description to an excellent forum post by Alec Turner that details many of them. Once you've chosen one, head out and drop in at the installation. Once you arrive, approach the installation and target it from your contacts. Once targeted, scan the installation with your ship's data link scanner. You'll see a rather cool animation as the installation is scanned. Once complete, your contacts will populate with a number of POIs for the installation. As we're going to be focused on hacking for data, we'll want to target one of the hackable data terminals, in this case a hackable data transmitter, and approach to within 300 meters. Once you've moved within range, scan the data terminal with your data link scanner, which will expose a sub-target, a limpet docking port for your recon limpet. Target this port and fire off a single recon limpet at the docking port. Now comes the critical piece. Ensure that you go silent running before your limpet attaches to the docking point. Failure to do so will result in a bounty and a rather unpleasant end to your hacking session. Once the recon limpet has attached, you may resume normal operations, disabling silent running. However, be sure to watch the hacking animation as you'll need to enable silent running again before the hack is complete. Failure to do so will also result in becoming wanted. During the process, you'll see a warning that system authority is en route. Don't worry, as long as you go silent during the attachment and completion of the hack, you'll be just fine. Once the hack is complete, you'll receive several pieces of data ranging up to grade 5. If the installation has a single hackable data array, it's time to enjoy some wonderful elite gameplay. Log out and back in so you can repeat the process as many times as you'd like. I've found this a rather efficient way to gather data, which is one of the harder to acquire engineering materials. While you can loot the installation for cargo and materials, I've found this to be less than efficient. If you'd like more details on that, please see my tutorial on looting megaships, as the process is exactly the same. While there are other methods to obtain data, I find this to be engaging gameplay with rather good rewards. Hopefully this simple guide will have you gathering much of the data you'll need for engineering. Remember, as you fill up on some items, to hit a material trader. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to fly dangerously, and thanks for watching. If you found that tutorial helpful, I hope you'll have a look at my other content. You can also join my live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and Creators Roundtable every Friday, and I hope you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.